Okay, good morning, friends. Looking a little sink and rough this morning, um, but that is why we're going to get ready together. So this morning, I am going to a thing called the Nutcracker Market. So if you live in the Houston area, this is something that you need to learn about if you don't know about it already. Um, it is basically, the Nutcracker Market is a huge market where all these different boutiques and sellers come together um, during the winter and then in, during the spring. They do a spring Nutcracker Market and they also do a um, winter one. And so we go every single year. It's a big deal. You have to buy tickets. Um, it's honestly, it's a little expensive, but the experience is really fun. You don't have to spend a bunch of money to have fun there because it's just fun all the way around. And so I thought I would take you guys along with me today as I go and as I get ready. Um, so yeah, hello, welcome. Um, my name is Drew. I'm 21 years old. I just recently got married to the love of my life. If you're new here, um, we have three golden doodles. Um, I am trying to better myself over here on YouTube. It is honestly really hard. Um, I'm learning how to edit and I'm learning how to be a good YouTuber and it's really hard, not gonna lie. Um, it takes people years to get where they are now and I'm trying to get on their level and I just started. So, um, I think my camera is broken because these last few videos, there's been like a thing, like a little static thing and I think that it is my camera. So if it happens again today, I think I told Gabe, I was like, I think we either need to go back to Best Buy because I literally just bought this camera this summer. Or not even this summer, like even the beginning of this winter. And that's not okay because these cameras are not cheap and they can't just break that easy. And I take really good care of my stuff. I get hiccups in the morning, y'all. And so I'm really confused as to why it would want to not be working right now and making static noises or maybe there's like a setting that I press or something I don't know um, but I'm just putting on my makeup you already know I'm really simple with my makeup um, I bought new tripods because obviously this angle is not cute um, but this is the only angle that I have with my tripod especially because behind me is really dirty and I don't feel like cleaning it um, I always for some reason like next to me right here I pile up my laundry Instead of putting it in a laundry basket, I just pile it right there. I don't know why. But I always use the Instant Age Rewind Maybelline stuff. I use the super light one for my concealer. And then I use the lightest shade they have for foundation because your girl can't tan. And it's the winter and I never can get a tan anyways. I got spray tans this summer. And it really looked I think it looked good on me, but I am not a good maintenance person. So when it comes to like maintenance and taking care of it, I was careless, especially during the summertime because during the summertime we were in the pool, you know, I was in the river, I was in the pool, went to water parks and it just didn't work. So I'm going to use this uh, e.l.f. Uh, bronzer. I'm very simple when it comes to makeup. I do literally the same steps and I've had these same brushes since high school. Pretty sure this came in my boxy charm years ago. I thought about re-getting boxy charm just to have something to like show you guys or talk about with you guys. But I don't know if I'm really interested in makeup like I used to be because actually I'm not. I was really big into makeup whenever it was big on YouTube at first. You know what I'm talking about? Whenever like Jaclyn Hill and Laura and all them were super duper popular. That's whenever I was into makeup. Like, are Jeffree Star and Patrick Star still a thing on YouTube? Like, I haven't looked them up in a really long time, but they used to come up on my, like, my feed, and I haven't seen them in a really long time, so I wonder if they're even, like, on YouTube anymore. I don't know. Um, and then I'm going to use this Bye Bye Pores Blush by It's Cosmetics. It's the Love Shade Natural Soft Pink. It's actually not even soft at all. It's really hot pink blush, um, but I love it. I love blush. I think it's so pretty. Everybody has their own opinions on what they think, and I love it. I put a heavy amount on, and then I just blend it out. That was maybe a little too much, Drew. But if you just take your beauty blender and, like, blend it, it looks better. This lighting in here is not giving, girl. It's not giving cutesy girl. Um, I'm wearing leggings and, like, a... A crop top with this really cute jacket with the Santa on the back 
because I wanted to be comfortable. Last year, I wasn't comfortable. So last year, we were not prepared. I didn't eat breakfast or have coffee beforehand, and it was just not it. And so this year, I told my mom, I was like, we're getting up really early, and we're going to go get breakfast, and we're going to go get a coffee, and then we're going to go. And hey, loser, we're going shopping. Let's go. Nutcracker Market, here we come. Let's go, girl. Let's go, girl. Get it, girl. Get it, girl. Let's do an OOTD. Okay, guys. So, this outfit is out of my comfort zone, but I'm wearing it because who the heck cares? So, I have on this really cute flannel from Southern Shirt Shack. I have a little Santa on the back. And then I have on this crop top. It's like a ribbed crop top from... Um, Athletica, my leggings are Athletica, and then my shoes are um, vintage Havana. This girl's honking at me. Excuse you, where are you? That girl's in my car. How do you have a key to my car? Who gave you a key to my car? My daughter. Who, Delane? Drew Emma. Drew Emma, who's Drew Emma? My little baby girl. This is Drew. This is Drew Basham coming live. This Drew ain't no Basham. Drew. Oh, I guess we're going forward. Oh, you don't need to go backwards. I forgot. Okay, so where are we going? We're going to pick, pick up Bambino. Pick up Bambino. We're gonna go to breakfast at this bougie breakfast place because we don't eat while we're shopping because we're so caught up in our. Oh. Shopping. I hope I got my debit card. I hope so too. Let me check. Cause you gotta be buying me some stuff. Today. I know that. You never been to the city before. We gotta do some talk. We gotta do some pain. How do you do this? I don't know. I'm fixing to figure it out. I'll this is Bambino. You. Hi. Hi. Mama, you're dropping my keys. Oh, is this is blurry. Don't get her a credit card now. I'm not. Okay. I just got home. I wasn't able to film as much as I wanted today while we were there because as you could tell, the crowd was wild. It's literally so stinking busy at the Nutcracker Market. Like, it's insane how many people go and, like, pile up in there. Um, so I thought I would just come on here and do a haul for you guys. So I got this year. I need those for my haul. Oh. What you doing? Mm -hmm. um, so this year, I actually didn't get as much as I thought I would. I usually get quite a bit of gifts there, but I've realized throughout the years, I only go to get things that I know I can't get anywhere else. Like if I can get it at a boutique, I'm not gonna buy it. You're not gonna buy it. Because it's obviously 10 to $15 overpriced at the Nutcracker Market. Um, so if I can't find it Are you anywhere- you're telling the Nutcracker Market overpriced? It is. So the what? first thing that I got was these cups from the Sassy Cups. Um, these are very popular. Whenever you're walking around, everybody has a bag of these. Like, women buy them for the year there because they're on sale. So, some of the stuff there you get at a better deal. You get it at, like, you get it at, uh, like a show like price. A show price. Um, but other booths you don't. But most of the booths that are big that people go to see, you get at a booth price. So, I got these cups. These are called the Friendsgivings, the ones with the besties. So, me and Gabe are hosting a Friendsgiving this year, which we were so excited for. Yeah. Um, and then I got the styrofoam ones say Friendsgiving on there just because they're cute and it adds like a pop of fun to like the atmosphere, you know? Um, I know some of you guys are going to make fun of me for this, but I really don't care. So I do have a baby box, which a baby box is a box that you buy stuff for for your future kids. 
if y'all know, like my dream come true is to be a mama one day. So I bought this really cute outfit. My babies, I don't know about y'all. Let me know if it's just a Southern thing, but my babies are gonna wear the smocked, cute little tractor school bus outfits. Like they're gonna wear the cute little socks. My little boys are gonna wear those cute little short, little strap shorts with the sandals, like little cute little kids, little kids, okay? So I saw this outfit and I thought it could be for a boy or a girl. It is very much so a vintage old style outfit. Like my grandma even literally said, Drew, that looks like something my grandma all made for my kid and I was like shut up <laughs> I love it like I think this is so cute like if a little boy wore this with his little high socks and his little loafers or like if a little girl wore it you could put a big old bow on her with some cute bow shoes something like that so I did get this little outfit because I thought they could wear it even if it's not Christmas because a lot of the outfits there were Christmas and like I said you never know when you're gonna have a kid so I didn't want to buy them an outfit that they couldn't wear for more than just Christmas so I got them this cute little outfit that is so cute and then I saw this little booth and I thought whenever I do tell my outfit, so whenever I do just me, we do decide or we do, you know, do have babies. I got this cute little LSU outfit. So whenever I do announce to my dad that I am pregnant, I wanted to uh, give him this or like have a gift for him that, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. what am I trying to say? Like. Here's a basket. Here's a basket, I'm pregnant type thing. So this is a Wubbanub, but it's an LSU one. So I thought that was so stinking cute. Um, and nobody but... knows, in this house, we like the Dallas Cowboys, and for college, we love us. We love LSU. LSU. So LSU Tigers are our favorite. So I got this cute little outfit. So whenever I do announce it to him, I'll be like, hey dad, I'm pregnant, and show him this. But I did show it to him tonight, and he loved it. He was so excited. He wanted to keep it, but I was like, no. I'm gonna keep it and put it up for later. Um, and then this shirt I got from a place called The Crooked Antler. It's just a pink, hot pink sweater. It's like a little crop sweater with like red on it. I thought that was so stinking cute. And then I got this shirt, which was really cute as well from The Crooked Antler. It's like a cropped little like, hey, that's um, cute. like little free people outfit shirt type okay. thing. Really like that. I thought she was so cute. I did get a bunch of these little cooking things. So I got this Southern Pecat. So Guys, I'm tired. What time is it? It's only, it's only 8.40. Yeah, it is. I feel like it's 12 o'clock at night. Southern pie, southern pecan pie muffins, <laughs> y'all. So stinking good. I also got this chocolate cobbler mix. So, better than any brownie you'll ever eat. And at first I laughed at the lady, but it's so good. Um, I got a cucumber dip. I got a roasted garlic and pepper dip. I got a Louisiana yard bird chicken salad mix. So you just put uh, that in your chicken salad. Um, I got a Chipotle ranch. I got it on the border. I got a wild garlic. And then I got this one. It's a white chocolate raspberry mix. And then because me and Gabe love soup and it's just easy and like helps me like with dinners and stuff, I got this cheesy chicken enchilada soup mix. Ooh. I got my lovey's favorite best of broccoli cheddar soup I mix. I love broccoli cheddar soup. Um, and then I also got a, uh, actually, okay. I did my daddy wrong. You did your daddy wrong? I got a gumbo mix. But the no. thing about this is I'm my, telling dad, Mr. Leonard. my dad cooks the best authentic gumbo you will ever have in your life. She's I, not even exaggerating. Look, I don't eat Cajun food out to eat because I grew up on Cajun food. I literally, what people feed people that says Cajun food, it's not Cajun food. Like you have to go to Louisiana and you have to experience it because what you get in Texas or other places is legit not anything near Cajun food. And I grew up on Cajun food. I mean, boudin, sausage, jambalaya, gumbo was like my mm. bread and butter. Like, that's yeah, what I ate. Coffee, chicken, chicken, things like that. Like, people ate spaghetti growing up. I had gumbo growing up. Like, Sauce pecan. Oh my gosh. My dad cooks so good. So, I picked this up because it doesn't taste like his gumbo. It tastes like a soup. So, in my mind, I'm not going to call it gumbo. I'm just going to eat it like a soup. Like, I would put cheese in it. It just has a different flavor. It's not my dad's flavor or like, even like your mom's gumbo flavor. It's nothing like that is just a soup so I got that one and then this one is Uncle Wade's tater soup mix I mean homemade potato soup is better than this but I've never had this so I just thought why not it was buy five get one free so I got that this is one of my favorite little booths it is called the gourmet apples and more they make the best chocolate covered apples so I got two of the plain Jane's I'm about to go, I'm gonna get Gabe to cut it up for me and I'm gonna lay in my bed in my jammies, which is just, you know, we must have said that out loud. And I'm gonna eat me an apple under the fan, just lay there under the fans. Like, ooh, in my apples, oh gosh. Mm. Um, I got a peanut butter cup one. And then I got a Heath Bar one, which I really like. I think it's so good. And then, what else did I get? Oh, I got Gabe um, a, 
our Christmas gift, but y'all can't see it yet because he can't see it yet, so I'm not going to show you that one. Last but not least, I did get some cheesy ornaments, so I got this one. It's our first Christmas, and then I got this one right here. It says, um, Drew and Gabe's first Christmas married, and I know that she has brown hair, but I'm going to paint the hair blonde, and then there's another one somewhere. Oh, right here. And then um, Drew and Gabe, we got married this year, so I got this little ornament. It says Drew and Gabe uh, 31022. So if you didn't know, I also got these things, but I have to finish decorating the tree, so I'm not going to show you guys those just yet because the tree's not done yet. But basically, um, those are like, when I look at those ornaments, it reminds me of my grandma's house. It reminds me of like old-timey stuff. And so I told my mom, I was like, I love that cheesy, like old-timey Christmas tree. And so I got them for memories because this year has been so many firsts for us. And so it just made me so happy. Like I literally like can't stop smiling when I think about it because it makes me so happy. So I had to get those. Um, those were a little bit expensive because they're handmade and they hand draw the stuff on it. But y'all, just so special. Um, and so yeah, that is all that I got from the Nutcracker Market. I'm sorry that I wasn't able to vlog as much as I wanted to for you guys. But like I said, it was so many people back to back hectic that I wasn't really able to. Um. But I do want to plan to go. Oh, I have to tell you this. There's a place called Paul Mitchell, and it's in Lafayette, Louisiana. And it's this huge place to decorate. Usually, they come to the Nutcracker Market. Well, they weren't there this year. I've seen that brand Which before. was insane because people come to go to that shop, and it wasn't there this year. And so, we're, like, freaking out. Like, that's – so, I wasn't even going to buy any of this stuff. I literally went straight to the back to go to the Paul Mitchell to get stuff for my tree had nothing and then everywhere else was just overpriced hobby lobby stuff so i didn't get anything there besides those little psh psh things and so um i definitely need to fix my tree now because we're having poker night tomorrow and that's gonna be embarrassing if my tree looks like that you know what i'm saying like, yeah, yeah. well the guys don't really look like that. but anyways um Y'all are gonna, me and my mom and Gabe and probably my dad are gonna do a little day trip. I haven't talked to Gabe about it yet. Um, but we're gonna do a little day trip and we're gonna go to Lafayette and go to this Paul Mitchell place and get stuff for my Christmas tree because my goal is to just have the same Christmas decorations for a while because I'm getting timeless things. I'm getting things that are more retro, timeless, cute for all times. Um, so yeah, that is all that I got today at the Nutcracker Market. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. I love you. You're the best. You're chicken cutesy. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, friends.